Once you have imported the FileMaker database into FMPro Migrator Platinum Edition, VBA code will be generated to build the forms and reports within the Microsoft Access database. At this point in the conversion process, you should have imported the FileMaker database into FMPro Migrator Platinum Edition. The step number four transfer data step should have been completed for all tables in the FileMaker database. And of course, you need to have a recent version of Microsoft Access installed supporting the new ACCDB file format. Click on the FMPro to Access button on the GUI tab of the Migration Process window. On the FMPro to Access window, we can see that there are 20 layouts which will be converted into Microsoft Access forms and reports. In demo mode, five layouts will be converted. To enter your license key, copy it from the email you received with your receipt, then click on the clipboard icon. Click on the Migrate button to start the conversion, and within a few seconds, the conversion has been completed. The result of the conversion process is a folder containing the Visual Basic code required to rebuild the FileMaker layouts as Microsoft Access forms and reports. Opening the folder shows the files of VB code. The FMPro converted scripts file contains all of the FileMaker scripts converted into VB code. Shown here in UltraEdit, you can see that each FileMaker script has been converted into a public subroutine within this file. Each script has also been written as a separate file within the Access DB Files folder. To build the forms and reports in Access, the load all forms and reports file will be opened and run within Access. Open the access2013.accdb database file. Click the Database Tools tab. Click the Visual Basic icon. Select Import File from the File menu. Select the Load All Forms and Reports file, then click the Open button. Click the green Run button. Select the Load All Forms and Reports subroutine. Click the Run button. Once the Run button has been clicked, the Visual Basic code will be run and you will see the progress on screen as the forms and reports are created. You won't be able to see the contents of the forms and reports as they're being created, but you will see the counter incrementing in the status area at the left corner of the window. It typically takes about one second to create each form or report, so 20 forms and reports requires about 20 seconds. Comparing the members form, you can see that the layout images, text labels, and fields have been converted over into the access form. You can see the data displayed within the fields as I navigate between records. Word wrapping of text labels and text alignment is displayed differently and will require manual changes. Looking at the assets form, you can see the converted layout objects, including a FileMaker portal converted into an access subform. Navigating between records shows only the related records in the subform. This was accomplished by including the definition of the link master fields and link child fields properties within the VB code, which builds the subform. Having built all of the forms and reports converted into the Access database is a great start to the conversion process. The remaining steps need completed manually. These tasks include fixing cosmetic issues on forms and reports, importing and reviewing the VBA code generated by FMPro Migrator, and building relationships within the Access database. Where possible, FMPro Migrator will build these relationships via the buttons on the Relationships tab of the Migration Process window. Relationships which exist only for use by a subform might not need created since they are defined within the subform itself.